Hi everyone, welcome back to April Makeup. We are not going to be doing makeup today, but we are still going to do something beauty related like showing you how I cut my own hair in layers, like this. I've cut my own hair for years and basically for this video, I've cut some subtle layers all around and then worked on some shorter layers on my crown and bangs area. So if you want to see how I go about cutting my own hair, let's just jump right into it. So I've already straightened my hair prior, and the very first thing I do is determine how much length I want to cut off. Here I'm thinking about 2-3 to three inches. Next I'm flipping my hair upside down and I start brushing it thoroughly so there aren't any tangles. Once I've got it smoothened out, I grab all of my hair and bring it to a tight and secure ponytail right on top of my head, very close to my hairline. This will help give me that layered effect. After making sure I've smoothened out my hair as much as possible before putting it in a ponytail, I'm going to very tightly tie my hair, ensuring that it's very secure. And here I'm just timing exactly how long it takes me to cut my own hair. Now I'm bringing that ponytail to the front of my face and grabbing another hair tie and again tying it very tightly to where I want to cut off. After making sure that I've pulled the hair tie to where I want to cut, I'm grabbing my hair cutting scissors which I purchased from Walmart. I've seen these scissors at most drugstores like Target or Walgreens. And then I'm going to cut right on top of the hair tie, which is why I made sure that the hair tie is very tight and secure before cutting. I also want to note that cutting my hair all at once like this can be a little tough on the scissors because it is a very thick cut, which is why it's important to make sure that the scissors are very sharp and that they're meant for cutting hair. While cutting, I'm trying my very best to cut in a straight line as much as possible. Now rest in peace my terrible dead and dried ends. Okay, so now of course, after cutting my hair all at once like that, I'm bound to get a jagged and slightly uneven cut, even when I've tried my best to cut straight across. But that's why I like to do any touch-ups or trimming right afterwards while my hair is still in that tight ponytail. So I'm using my fingers as a guide to even out the cut, and I'm trimming vertically with the scissors, which is called point cutting, so that it creates more movement without having just a blunt haircut. I'm trimming my hair until each strand looks as even as possible to me. And I'm sorry I didn't realize my hand was kind of covering the trimming process, but I hope you got the gist of it. Also, there goes that magic pug, Kevin, appearing magically throughout my video. So I'm just gonna keep trimming and trimming until everything looks evened out to me. Once I'm done evening out my hair, I'm gonna finally bring my hair down to see what it looks like and if I like it. I'm also checking to see if the length is even to each other on each side. But before I get into that, now I've decided I wanted to focus on the crown of my head and I'm just dividing that area from the rest of my hair and pulling them back in a ponytail. Again, I'm brushing my hair out before cutting and I'm actually just going to trim once again so that my layers on the crown of my head are a little more evened. And it looks like that. I'm so excited, I'm almost done. Now I'm going to divide my hair right down the middle in the back of my head and bring the two sections right in front of me and just give it a little trim until they're the same length. After checking to see that the longest layer is the same length, I'm just brushing my hair out once again and now I'm just focusing on my bangs which is what frames my face. Sectioning it off in a triangular shape, I'm going to again tie the rest of my hair back, brush out the part I'm going to cut and just trim it the same way I've always done it until it looks even. So I'm finally done with the whole cut, which took me about 15 minutes for the whole process, and now I'm just straightening out any kinks from the hair tie and checking out the final look. Before this, I actually had a one length haircut that I really liked when it was shorter, but now that it has gotten a little longer, it started to feel heavier on my head. And the easy solution to this was cutting my hair in layers like I just did so that it all feels much lighter. I also got rid of any dried ends, so now my hair feels much healthier than before. I haven't had a layered haircut in a while, and I am just love, love, loving it right now. Thanks for tuning in with me on April Makeup. Please read my disclaimer in my description box down below before and if you decide to try this. And please remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!